Hi, this is Dr. Cook, your Chem 240 instructor. Let's take a look at the next video. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about how we name aromatic compounds and benzene and its derivatives. As I mentioned in the previous video, there are lots of common names associated with aromatic compounds. Some of those you can see here on this slide. When we use these common names for substituted benzene derivatives, keep in mind that that common name includes that substituent as part of the parent. So when we think about naming rules for benzene rings, we need to recognize that. For example, the molecule toluene includes the benzene ring and the CH3 group. So the word toluene refers to this whole thing as a parent. Uh, particularly if we have other things substituted onto it. The OH compound is called phenol or hydroxybenzene. Uh, aniline is aminobenzene. Aniline includes the NH2 as part of the parent. Aminobenzene is amino substituent on a benzene ring. Acetophenone has this acetyl group on it. Benzaldehyde has an aldehyde group. Benzoic acid, CO2H. Xylene, CH3, CH3, so two alkyl groups. The xylene name includes both of those as part of the parent molecule. The term ortho here we'll get back to, but this refers to the position of one relative to the other and being a 1-2 relationship on the ring, as opposed to having that CH3 group in the 3 position or the 4 position, which we refer to as the meta and para positions, and we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, another common molecule, styrene, has a double bond attached to a benzene ring. So when we name benzene rings, we usually name them according to the substituent that's attached with benzene as the parent. So for example, bromobenzene is a bromine attached to a benzene ring. Nitrobenzene is a nitro group attached to a benzene ring. And ethylbenzene is an ethyl group attached to a benzene ring. If we have more than one, then we give them a number or an indication of where they are located around the benzene ring. So if we have a bromine and a nitro group, it would be one, one bromo, three nitro benzene. Or since the relationship is in a one, three relationship, that's referred to as a meta relationship. We can call it meta bromo nitro benzene. So those are possibilities for how we can name things. Keep in mind if we're going to use a common name such as toluene, the word toluene includes that CH3 group. So if we have a, a bromotoluene, for example, a bromine here, that would be a 3-bromo toluene, not 3-bromo methylbenzene or methyltoluene. Uh, we could use methyl as a substituent, so if we wanted to use benzene as the parent that does not include the methyl group, in that case then bromine would be number one because I it would be first in the alphabetical order. So it would be 1-bromo-3-methyl-benzene because the methyl group is not part of the parent. Notice if we use the name that includes the methyl group as part of the parent, then that is automatically the number one carbon. So other than that, naming these groups on benzene ring are relatively straightforward. If you remember some of the common names, um, then you can use them, but just keep in mind those common names include the substituent as part of the parent. If we have benzene rings as substituents on larger molecules, then we need to have a name for that as well. And a, a benzene ring that's attached directly to the ring onto something larger is referred to as a phenyl group a phenyl group, sometimes that's abbreviated as PH, phenyl. Uh, if there's an additional carbon in between, so in this case the CH2 benzene is referred to as a benzyl group on a larger molecule, a benzyl group. Here are some additional examples of aromatic compounds and their names. For example, if we have two chlorines on a benzene ring, we can call that dichlorobenzene, and the relationship here being 1-2 could be given by the numbers, or using ortho, meta, and para. In this case, the 1-2 position would be the ortho position. These refer to two groups relative to each other, so if you have more than two substituents, you can't really use ortho, meta, and para when you're talking about the name because you're not sure what's ortho or para or meta to what. So it is a relationship between two groups that these indicators are showing. Um, but here, paranitrobenzoic acid, notice the parent includes the CO2H, and the nitro group is in the 4 position or in the para position relative to the acid group. Toluene being the parent molecule, uh, 246, 246 
is, are the numbers of the nitro groups. So it's 246 trinitrotoluene, or more commonly known as TNT. This is an explosive compound. Phenyl as a substituent. So if we have something like an octane chain, we would name this as 4-phenyl octane. And again, sometimes when we draw the structures, we are a little bit lazy about drawing out the whole benzene ring. We can abbreviate that using a pH to indicate a phenyl ring. And a common name for two benzene rings attached by a single bond is referred to as biphenyl. So you notice again that the phenyl group, this is a substituent on that and that's a substituent on that. That's a little bit different kind of naming, but uh, this is commonly referred to as biphenyl. Or I guess technically would be phenylbenzene.